at the end of it, Jack and whatever Kelly, that motherfucker, they both deserve Yo, the that question shit, is, man. do you think they're gonna snitch on us? Well, I don't know. I might lose possibly. my fucking job. I mean, is they word against y'all? Like, you know what I'm saying? Surely you can beat that, right? I mean, yeah. cops are gonna respond. See a bunch of gunshots in them. Start questioning who did it. Um, I threw my knife on the beach, so that should be fine. I took her laptop. Um. Oh my god! Imagine if they get arrested and I have to go, I go represent them in the cells. <laughs> Hey, you... I'm just like, hey. Up, man. That's the ultimate disrespect. And but nah, if you do that, just throw throw that shit. Fuck it, man. I don't think there's anything for them to get arrested <laughs> for. The story that we're getting is not um, truthful. It's one of those things, guys. I just showed up to a meeting and got stabbed. I don't know who did it. They're wearing all black. I'm not sure what happened. It's a, it's a typical story you hear from somebody who's not willing to tell the truth because they're afraid to say anything because they don't want to get that person in legal trouble to where they know it came out of them. I don't no, want to snitch, want, basically. Right? They don't want the snitch tag. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and the problem with that is it makes our job a lot harder because we don't know what the hell happened because nobody wants to um, let us know what happened. You better fucking get these cops off my fucking back. You under arrest or what? I don't know. They fucking brought me over here. It's not enough that I'm fucking bleeding out of my asshole. I don't know what the fuck they want with me. Tell them oh, to sorry, get the fuck out of here. This is my pizza here. My retainer fee is five thousand dollars, Jack. <laughs> fuck you. By the way, five hundred times five is twenty five hundred. Where the fuck y'all get five thousand from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get you out of this, Jack, and maybe we could talk retainer fees after, huh? Get me out of this. Get these fucking cops off my back. What about the rest of your crew? Where are they at? I don't know. They're in here. Are See they? How, why are? Why are you only one getting questions? Where is everybody else at? I don't know. I'm not talking to no lawman is what I'm fucking telling you. Okay. Let me go talk to the officers. You ain't gonna... Hey, uh, why don't you guys talk with my client here? I'm gonna go talk to the officer, see what's going on, right? <laughs> Yo, we actually run the city. We, oh my God, we actually run the city. We have Murphy as a fucking, oh, this is good. This... No way. She was making sandwiches with her friends that appear. She's living banana cousin to fall into, oh, come on. No way she's saying this. No way that's her statement. The butter from her friends? No shot. Dude, who are they afraid to not snitch on? Like, hey, is this I'm person that to, powerful? Uh, release my 95 from detention. Uh, yeah. Affirm, no. get the question? Oh, sorry, Captain. Yeah, yeah, A-firm, if they want a lawyer too as well, Rame's here, by the way. Come on. Yeah, he's giving me a statement. Uh, I'm gonna call The him. Bumblebee Bandits. Yeah, I cut mine loose. Officer Stone, I just saw the statement that you took from that uh, victim or alleged suspect. My God. I just can't believe what I just, you know, read. Hey, what's your third, Matthew? All right. Uh, my guy was fishing. My client is pretty battered up right now, and he's pretty stressed out. He's claiming that he's just a lumberjack worker. Oh, uh, come on. Who is it? Who is it, Robin? <sighs> who are know, they so man. afraid to, to talk about, let man? Me, who, who's this, this powerful individual that did this? Let me, let me, let me try talking to the other people. See it and see if I can find out. We got nothing out of that chat. Zero, nil, jack, nil. Okay. I wonder who they're so scared of, man. Who are they scared of? Who are that? They're willing to just say I fell on bullets. I fell on my knife. My my butter knife hit me. Who are they so scared of? Like this. Uh, so there's some kind of battle going on between some group and another group, and they're not willing to say a thing. But why they're so scared of that group? Why?